the old man hangs on. That's the focus of tonight's angle. Now, the other cable networks were going wall to wall with war coverage today, but the focus wasn't Israel's war against Hamas. It was a hack prosecutor's war against Trump in the courts. This case has made him angrier than almost any other case. I'm really flabbergasted right now. I've never seen anything like this in all of my time of being a lawyer. Let Trump hang himself, essentially, in this trial. Now, more on the legal angle later, but the reason they devoted, what, eight, nine hours of coverage to the trial has less to do with its merits than with the recent polls that show Trump trouncing Biden. In five key battleground states, Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, and Pennsylvania, according to The New York Times, Trump has eaten significantly into Biden's advantages among younger black and Hispanic voters, many of whom retain positive views of the policies Trump enacted. Wow. Well, it turns out that Biden's getting America tangled up in more wars while driving down real median income isn't so popular after all. And even with his significant lead in key states, Mr. Trump appears to have room to grow. As voters say they're open to supporting the former president than they are to backing Mr. Biden, which lar with large shares of voters saying they trust Mr. Trump on the economy and national security. Now, no wonder the Democrat dam of support for Biden seemed a bit to be buckling over the weekend. If they weren't pushing Biden to step aside, it was a gentle nudge and not so subtle warnings. There's just a lot of concern about the age issue. And uh, and that is something that I think he needs to uh, ponder. Just do a check and say, is this the right thing uh, to do? Time is fleeting here, and this is probably the last moment uh, for him to do that check, and it's 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 probably good if he does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, David, because we all know that Joe Biden has always put country first, never put his financial uh, interest of his family ahead of his official duties. That's never happened. Then there was political statistician Nate Silver's tweet saying, you have the whole electorate basically screaming Biden's too old. There's a year's worth of campaign to go, very likely some reversion to the fundamentals. Trump's legal issues probably larger liability than seem now, but still, Democrats can't say they weren't warned. They desperately want Biden to become someone he never was, and at 80, never can be. Somehow, Biden has to find a way to animate um, the excitement, enthusiasm that I think he, he tapped as a, as a man of the center, a man who would put the country back together. Uh, quickly, he's got he's got to do it soon and and, and reverse these perceptions. Um, uh, otherwise, we're really heading toward a, a, what I fear will be a cataclysmic election uh, next year. Yeah, for the typical D.C. and Manhattan elites who never bother considering what life really is like for middle class voters. They're confounded that people don't love persistent inflation, sky-high food and gas prices, and mortgage interest payments that crush first-time home buyers. They're shocked that that's unpopular. The once reasonable Jonathan Carl is worried. When you hear the word anybody, remember, he's actually referring to the regime media types like himself. Look, this is a wake-up call. This is frightening for not just the Biden White House, not just for Democrats, but for anybody who fears what a return to a Trump presidency would mean. He can win. Now, listen to the language. Fears and frightening. He would never cover a, a, you know, a poll favorable to Biden from the Republican perspective, because you can bet that a lot of regular folks are terrified of the prospect of Biden staggering through another four more years, including African Americans, such as Karen Wright, a business consultant in McDonough, Georgia, who immigrated to the United States from Jamaica in 1982, and she told the New York Times that she'd always voted for Democrats, seeing them as the best option for younger immigrants, particularly those from predominantly black countries like hers. Now, though, she believes Biden hasn't followed through on his campaign promises on immigration and worries that Democrats have gone too far in their embrace of LGBTQ issues. Next year, Ms. Wright said that she planned to support Republicans up and down the ballot and that she was not alone. That's devastating. No wonder Bill Kristol's panties are in a bunch. Posting on X, it's time President Biden has served our country well. 
I'm confident he'll do so for the next year, but it's time for an act of personal sacrifice and public spirit. It's time to pass the torch to the next generation. It's time for Biden to announce he won't run in 2024. Pass the torch? Can't carry a torch. On what planet does Bill Crystal live? Now, I got to say this, though. Biden may not understand what's really happening around the world, not well, at least, but he is with it enough to know that, all things considered, being president helps Hunter and the gang more than if he were not president. And enriching his family and protecting them are all that ever mattered to Biden. Now, there's no denying that Democrats and the press want him out. But if that's what they want, they're going to have to do a heck of a lot more than hint and nudge. They're going to have to use leverage on the only thing that Joe Biden really cares about, his family. Hard to see them doing that. But look, anything can happen. But Democrats are in a jam of their own making. They failed across the board, and they deserve to lose across the board. They failed in their pledges, even to strengthen democracy. Remember that pledge? Since now fewer Americans trust our system of government with Biden at the helm. 76 percent, I almost fell over saying this, of those polled now say that we're heading in the wrong direction. Only in the liberal mind would that Democrat track record actually be called a success. Definitely reelect that. And why would anyone in his right mind think Gavin Newsom, with his horrid track record in California, can do any better than Biden? What on earth does he have to offer? We'd go from President Sniffy to President Smarmy. No, thank you. And that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.